Hello everybody, I am Lisbeth and welcome to episode 28 of my Oxygen Not Included Let's Play series where Harold here is digging up a something, we don't know what it is, but we're about to find out and we have no food. Um, so fun times. Ah, no, 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 you come back here. Find out what it is. <laughs> it's a vent of some sort. What have we got? A cool steam vent that is more water. Nothing that I am complaining about. Um, so we did get this one up here analyzed and per 132 cycles it will make us 250 ton of water uh, which is pretty cool uh, and we've got our power going again here getting water back down in here so I did what I said I would do I pumped all that all of this water here is now getting pumped straight into there um, and that's all getting uh oh yeah that's no good um, do they have at least some dirt? Yeah, I'm telling them to sweep dirt up here so that it's easier. Ah, now I see. Yeah, um, you know, that certainly is something that is happening, isn't it? Um, can I... Hmm. <laughs> we need more water quick. Let's deconstruct all of them, and we're actually gonna, uh, no, look, let's just see how much water that gives us. Does that reach anymore? Just barely. Um, so we need to get us some more water. Um, now, this is all germy. Um, that's all gone up to be oxygen hasn't it? What if we instead connect that there? And now we snip that. That gives us a little bit more. So I'm gonna get them to build up this once we're, yep, we're going again. Um, get all of this done. Because we're putting in another liquid pump down here, and we're going to clear all the water out of here. That'll give us access to this leaky oil fissure. There is also this hot polluted oxygen vent down here, which is a uh, less whatever, you know. Um, now, what were people saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is something that I could use if it was something that was kind of important to make um, liquid oxygen, because polluted oxygen. Uh, if we come back to elements, wait, wrong one, gases, and polluted oxygen. Yeah, it just turns into oxygen as a liquid. Um, and this, given that it's, uh, it's not just polluted oxygen, it's also, uh, what does it have in its slime lung, I think? Um, so yeah, that's, that's sort of that. Um, so that's actually really nice to find out we've got more water down here. Um, and um, as a matter of fact, if the other one makes 120,000, let me just bring up the geyser calculator. It makes 3,000, actually it's like 3,100 every... Uh, 747 out of every 991. And we don't know its activity cycles, but I'd say it's probably comparable to the other one. I mean, it'd be pretty close, wouldn't it? Pardon? Um, so that's, that's pretty neat. So that might mean that all of this water we need for this could come from here. Um, now, given that the other one is do i have a calculator like a proper calculator right here uh let's see 120 thousand divided by 118 uh it gives us about a ton of water a cycle like not cycle as in how often the thing operates but like per this cycle <laughs> 
Uh, now, we've also gotten rid of a lot of the sour gas in here, which is very nice. Um, so we're gonna block that off there. We're gonna put airflow tiles under here. Actually, destroy these, destroy them. Alright, they'll get round to that in a second, but we need this water done first. Um, let's just cancel those so I can see what I'm looking at. Because uh, we need water first. As a matter of fact, we're even going to make that just a little more important. Now, can they get out? Uh, well, they're already out. Is the answer to that one. Uh, now, that all needs lead, and these need sensor, and that's good. Alright, let's leave them to it. Um, if we watch, they go slower. They get shy and embarrassed. You know what it's like. These guys, on the other hand, are having a grand old time. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's all pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm hoping will happen is that with the airflow tiles, all of the sour gas will get forced down in here. Um, of course, given that I'm going to pump out all of this gas once we get going, though, um, I don't know, we'll see. Let's come back up here. They're going all right. Jeez, there's even more of these little guys over here. Now I wonder... Well, I'm glad that's not steel. Whoa. Hey guys, who's cooking? And this is going better than it was, but still not great. Um, I need to sort this power out first. Just one problem at a time. Uh, and we do need, we do have a problem with water. <laughs> Unsurprising. Um, we'll also pop that up a little bit. Uh, now I do have to figure out how exactly I want this conveyor rail to go, because we've got to bring all the wood back down here, remember? And I do think that will reach the whole thing. Um... Yeah, like, where do I want this shipping rail to go? Because we're currently coming to here, right? Um, I could... And this is all a bit of a jumble. <laughs> uh, I could just bring it out around the side. That might be the best way to go about it. Because um, all of this, this is the polluted dirt input here. Um, so this rail doesn't need to stay. I could bring it down this way and around here. That's a pretty neat sound, though, and bring it down here. That might be the way to go about it. How are we going? We're going. Is how we're going. And it's toasty, toasty in there. Oh, this is the one that has... Yeah, this is the one that has slime. Okay. Okay, so there's two different types of polluted oxygen vents. That's, that's good to know. That's chlorine. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! What happened in here? Oh! Hey, no, 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 that... Oh, mm. Alright. 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 What does it melt into? Magma, which turns into igneous rock. Alright. Fine, I suppose. Uh, let's find out what this is, and then... Oh, sure, let's take the squirrel. Uh, and they're just about done. So, as soon as I've got all this in, we'll be right on water. I'm hoping that plain water won't break the desalinators either, and I put an extra one in, because uh, I do want to make sure that everything's going to go smoothly. We're good on oxygen as well. I did a small reroute here 
so that more oxygen gets down here. We're not going too bad. Can wrangle one of these guys. Because I think this has, yeah, seven. Alright, uh... Really? You carried enough for one? Turner, you better have the rest. Alright, Camille, you've got this. Meep's down here too. No, he's not. <laughs> Eek. That's no good. We're back at this point again. Uh, we really need this done. <laughs> Like now. Pronto. Please, guys. Do I have any other immediate options? That is my immediate option. Alright, we're sorted. For another cycle. <laughs> we're like on the knife's edge. And we're just not looking because, uh,. And I caught one of these mobs earlier. I'm going to catch the other one in a minute, but the problem is, is I have to time it right, because I have to deconstruct this water sieve every single time I want to put more mobs in there. Uh, it's just a case of wait until... There we go. Alright. We're good. Now we can come back down here. and make this all a bit more important. That's pretty cool though. That's real nifty. And because it'll hopefully, fingers crossed, be producing more water than what these can hold, we'll have a nice big pit down here. Now, it is toasty down here, so we've got to take that into consideration. Uh, do you want to show me that circuit overloaded again? That's fine. Alright, very good. Wait, rock crusher? Oh. Huh, well I do suppose that is underwater a little bit, isn't it? It's because it's getting cold in here. Yeah. But these are all working now. Nice to see... <laughs> Look at all those hatches. Yeah, I could kill a few of them to... Let's just... right there and there. Alright, that'll sort that out a bit. Okay, so that seems to be everything... resolved temporarily. We can't sweep that, but we can sweep that. Uh, so I'm gonna get him to... do the tidying things. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, and we'll get all this stuff in here built. Where is it? There it is. Look at you guys go. I'm so proud of you all. Ah. And you did that in the right direction. Good job. He'll be back. Ah. Right. Got it. 2200 on this circuit. What do I... sort out? It's that extra... it's this. Ah, they take a lot of power, don't they? Oh boy. Um, so... to compensate and these three are all running as well let's snip that off there
and we will snip that off there. There we go. That ought to sort it out. Um, yeah, so what happened there is, I, I think I've explained it already, but these have a maximum amount of power that can go through them before they start getting damaged. Um, now obviously, if you set things up the way I am and you tell it, oh hey, you know, don't run this thing if we don't need to be running it, all that sort of jazz, like, uh, like these, see, uh, these only go when, when it tells it to, right? So if we go to our automation overlay, that's not running because this is telling it not to run. Uh, same with this one in here, it's not running because this is telling it not to run. Um, so you can get away with like a potential, like look, if everything ran at once, we'd bust the whole circuit. Um, you know, that's nearly four and a half thousand watts. But because it's not all running at once, we're pretty good. Um, and like this one will only run when it's used a bit of water up. So now how are we going? Oh, look at all that petrol. That's beautiful. All right. Um, now we come back down here, see how they're going. They're going. And this sour gas is at a much more manageable level. So I could just pump all that out at this point. Um, and if I did pump it out, do I just... You know, pump it out into space? Hmm. Things to consider. Alright, that can all get picked up and taken back to... whoops! Uh... my god. There we go. That can be deconstructed. We can have... Um... well I suppose if we just leave all that, really. Um, is there anything down there that I care about? A lot of rock gas. Oh boy. I don't even know where to start with that. We have a glossy Draco. Oh look, we do. Nice. Alright, um, well. Uh, what are we up to now? Sorry, my brain just... So, we're gonna deconstruct that. We need to... Put that there. We can deconstruct those ones and that one. And we need to put a tile there and a tile there. Um, and a tile there, why not? Did she just get halfway through deleting that and stop? Camille, what the hell was that? Oh well, look, uh, let's put another one of these right here. That needs doing, that needs doing. We're gonna have to dig this out. Which is fine. So let's let them get all this done. We're also going to need a insulated pipe. Now, because we have such an absurd amount of ceramic, I'm just going to flex on you all and make that out of ceramic. Because why wouldn't I? Uh, that can't be reached, but that can be... F well, it won't need to be reach reached in a minute. Uh, that's getting built, so that means we can put one last tile right there. Alright, well, I'll get this pipe in. I'm gonna fill this bit here in. Um, I've got to install a water lock here. Uh, what else? I need to cover this over. And then, what else? Cover that. Get all this oil out here. I've got to put a steel liquid pump. steel right there 
Um, and that can take a regular pipe. There's a lot of sedimentary rock. Wait. And that's the output there. Alright, beautiful. Um, and I think we're good on this pipe now. Uh, let's just stop it there. Actually, we'll leave this in. We'll leave that like that. Alright, uh, they've got some building to do. They've got to put some more tiles in here. And here, and here. That can be deconstructed. These can all be deconstructed. That can be deconstructed. That can be deconstructed, as can those. We're going to put more tiles in like this. And we'll stop there for now. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Um, this is all going a lot quicker than all the building and unbuilding and building and building that we were doing before, which is very nice. Uh, so we've got in here all of our uh, power first up to all three plus the liquid pump down here. Um, we're just extending it off this line, uh, which is off this one here, of course. Now what we probably will need to do is put a second power transformer there and put that on there. And I do have a printable, but I just need to do this real quick. All right, pause right there. Seed, sure. And there was one more thing I have to do up here. That. All right, back downstairs. We have also plumbing. We've got the incoming water will be this line down the bottom here. Uh, we can, wrong way, we can extend this. Uh, now that comes all the way across here, down to this one, up to this one. All good. Nice to see. Uh, and the outgoing comes this way, all the way across here, and down this way. Super, that's fine. Very all good and normal. Uh, now automation, we will have, sorry, if we come down here, we've got the exact same thing. So this will only pump when the liquid level gets above this point here. Um, so we'll have this hydro sensor here. Now this hydro sensor uh, goes to each of the oil wells. So if we make so much petrol that this line backs up, so the pump backs up and then oil starts backing up in here, we will stop running the machines once we have, you know, this much oil. Um, as for where the gas pump is going to go, I am not sure. I might hollow this out. I could put it right there. Um, that'd go pretty well, I reckon. If I put one more tile there like that, then I can hollow out a pretty symmetrical little bit and put it up in here. Um, and that would eventually clear out everything. And if I, because I'm going to seal this up as well, so this is all empty, um, I can pump all of the spare gas, because I don't think that's enough gas in there to affect this too badly. Uh, now as well that that's done, we can put that in there. Um, so that's where we're up to. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Really? I'm gonna have to... Is that... F oh, I see what's happened here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what's happened here. We need another one of these. 
There we go. Now we'll get some mush fry. <laughs> Hopefully that'll... Uh, now these... Let's turn off... That one... Didn't I have three? Maybe... Oh no, I do have three. And that one. So that there's only one. Um, and as a matter of fact, let's turn the priority of that way down. You must have better things to do. Really? You guys have nothing better to do? Alright then. Stop that for now. Don't let me forget. Um, because that would be unfortunate. This is the most important thing. Uh, and our water is going well. This is a, um... It was an Escher waterfall, actually. The water was flowing up there, but it's clearly equalized. Alright, that's all going well. I'm gonna get them to investigate this. Once they've done the stuff downstairs, if we come back down here. Once it loads. There we go. Very good. Now there is a bit of... Is that naphtha? No, it's crude oil. Alright, that can stay. I don't care about that. That is Napsa though. That's fine, that's fine. This all needs sweeping up. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting now on... I've been sort of debating, like, how much do I let gather in here? That's 500 kilos on top. Uh, that's a fair bit. So I'm sort of like, do I turn this off and start making it drip down this way? But I do need... Aha. Hopefully they've... deconstructed this because uh, I'm going to move it up a bit and use this petroleum here just to make sure it doesn't get too hot it shouldn't but just in case actually let's not worry about that I don't think it'll get too hot for me to use crude oil right here so we've got this liquid lock in here that'll stop gas and stuff getting through which is fine nice good Anyway, um, anecdote time, because this is my show and uh, none of you can stop me. So we had the biggest earthquake um, I think our country has ever had recorded today, and everyone is so excited about it. So like, I'll, I'll take you through the whole story because like it's a pretty good story in my opinion. So it's like nine o'clock in the morning, I'm at work, where you know, look at the newspaper and I'm waiting for the drill to run, you know, doing some chamfering on the side. And um, then like, we all start to hear this like rumbling sound, like, um, at first I was like, oh yeah, you know, like it's a truck outside or like there's a train because um, our factory pretty much backs onto one of the busiest train lines as well. Anyway. So we're like, oh yeah, like it's a train or it's a this or that or whatever. Um, anyway, we, I poke my head outside, there's nothing. Come back inside, look up at the ceiling and keep in mind, this is like a minute or so worth of shaking. Um, I look up at the ceiling and you can see the, so the construction of our factory is like a, that they're, they're literally just slabs of concrete and they're vertical and they're pretty much held up by the building itself so once they're upright they're you know they're up and the roof sort of holds them all together um so they're pretty fragile like we don't get earthquakes very often so it's a pretty reliable design anyway <laughs> and you can see the these you know like inch thick steel rods which are the cross members across the ceiling between the i-beams um don't sweep that up thank you just mop it um are like rattling uh and then it all just like stopped and we like went back outside and we had a chat to the next door neighbor and he's like oh that was that was you know that was a pretty big earthquake and it was all very exciting um so yeah, that that was my morning. How are you guys doing? <laughs> that was it was pretty exciting. Um, and like it was, 
And if any of you live somewhere like, I don't know, San Francisco or in Japan or even New Zealand or something, you're going to laugh, but it was barely a magnitude six. And everyone's like freaking out. And we could feel it from, well, I live near Melbourne. Um, a building partially collapsed in Melbourne, uh, but apparently they could feel it over in Adelaide, which is oh, how many hundred kilometers away. And um, they could feel it like up in Sydney and some people in Queensland could even feel it, which is pretty crazy. Like it was originally just Yeah, it was originally just, um, okay, now guys, I really need you to put some oil in there. Yeah, it was a big thing for us, anyway. Uh, so how are these guys going? We're uh, doing pretty good, actually. Most of this is in... We're using up a lot of gold. Look how much gold we have. We had like nearly 80 ton before. That there, that pile. Look at that. That's absurd. All of this melted, of course. Um, we're just hanging out. I'm glad that this obsidian won't melt. I gotta say. Hopefully that igneous rock... <sighs> That's not good. One moment. I need to... Do we think... 1859? No, wait. Yeah, 1862. Ooh. That's just... Oh. Oh. I mean... Sure. Alright, construction priority seven. Alright, let him get that done. Have they done any of this up here? Um, I might actually get them to prioritize that. Oh. But not that one. Alright, let's come back downstairs. I want to make this a seven. And cleaning seven. Alright. Now it's just a matter of wait until it's done. Uh, I might block this off here as well. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, that was on the wrong. Alright, let's come back home. And they're just about there. That's not bad. This will get more water down here as well. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. Let's get all that dripping. Oh, I need to put one of those there. Just trying to make it flat so that we actually get... So that all the stuff actually gets dripped down here. Yeah, that's actually a good spot to have them. That's absorbing a lot of the heat. Now, it might just melt this ice biome as well, but, um, <sighs> what can you do? Oh, have you seen how many rad bolts we have? <laughs> I, I don't know if that's actually like a radiation hazard in now. I suppose this bit is, but only because of the wheeze warts. I don't think this thing itself actually emits radiation. Alright, there's Ellie. 
Yeah, she's doing good. All right, so we're going to find out how much water this produces. Um, so we obviously know that the hot salt water is going to produce 250 ton of water. So what, that's calculator time, 258.96 divided by 132. So that'll give us nearly two ton of water a cycle, like day cycles, which is pretty cool. Gosh, there's so much cool stuff in here. This cute little biome. All right, I gotta stop looking around and get back to it. Right, what's down here? They're doing all right. They're mopping up. They're doing good. We can probably put a... actually... like that, except for the mercury. Sweep that one up. Uh-oh. Alright. Lime is fine. Alright, how are we doing food-wise? Steady. Put it down on a five. Just to slow them up a little. Sweep that up, please. That one can be deconstructed just to hide the mercury under under here. Uh, that can be deconstructed. And we're just about there. On the whole, uh, you know. Put a lid on this and that sort of thing. All right, and I'm not going to dump the napster up here. That'd just be a pain. Oh my. Oh. Hmm. Well, good thing that's all trapped under there. I don't suppose it'll be able to creep over this way so it's all one pack. There's so much, like, cool stuff. Man, I love this so much. <laughs> Alright. Ellie. Ellie, for real? Go and eat! We have these as well, they showed up in the printer. Just some more cute little guys. Heck, I might need another Atmo suit dock in here. At some point. How's this circuit going? Uh, potentially 4,000. Alright, back downstairs. Hey, I'm proud of these little guys. I might just duck away for a bit, let them get this finished, and then we can wrap up the rest of this. Uh, I might put them in as well. Now, there is, of course, all this stuff down here. Um, I think that's fine. We can live with it. Right? There we go. Now, of course, if I was sensible, what I would actually do is have a item dispenser like right here and just have them dump it all in one tile there. Uh, but I am not a clever man. We've established this. Oh, they can't- wait, can they reach it? Sure they can. Now I think we can start putting- not that one.
uh, and they've put that there, so this can go there. Alright, we are this close to being done here. Block the top of that in. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I will. You're not the boss of me. Honestly, zoom out a bit so it's a bit quieter. Um, that's the first time I've been disappointed by a sound effect. Like, if you're gonna go for it, just go for it. <laughs> like, make it go toot toot. Man, I love my little disco of gas up here though. Alright. Uh, speed him back up again. Alright, here we go. Um, what we will also need to do is probably something like that. Uh, no, we don't have to worry about that. Now, plumbing. Alright, let's start dismantling this. I think they're close enough. Like, this will all go in pretty quick. Yeah, that'll go in super quick. Yep, okay, 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 okay. So... Uh, automation... No! Stop pressing that button. Deconstruct all of them. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. Plumbing. Deconstruct those two. That's our water in. So that can go like that. Uh, anything else? Plumbing. That's our plumbing out, which is fine. It doesn't need to... like, it won't get too hot in that. That's all good. Very nice. Am I forgetting anything else? No. Alright. And we can put the last... That's the most important one. <laughs> there they go. Good job, kitties. Uh, now we just want buildings, so we can deconstruct those ones. Now, I know I should get all this gas out of here, but it's not really affecting things all that much. So we can do something like that. That can be deconstructed. I'm not forgetting anything under there, no. Those can also be deconstructed. We also need that there. And those can be swept up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you know... We need to deconstruct that, because I want to deconstruct everything in here. That should work. Sweep on a seven. Sweep on a seven. Like that. Uh, that can go there, that can go there. Alright, let's get this all put in and we'll be back in just a little minute.
Oh yeah, baby, we got oil coming in, which means there's going to be petrol coming in. This is super. All right, power. One moment. Power, power, power. That needs to go. Uh, so we are just waiting on that oil to get down here, into here, and all the way up to the petrol generators. <laughs> There's the word. Uh, but that is fantastic. Now, you probably saw I put a conveyor receptacle here so that they don't have to go as far for the uh, gold to build everything. That's fine. That can be an 8. That can be an 8. Now this can be green if below... if below 500. Yep, that's good. And this one here can be green if below 500. Yep, that's fine. Beautiful. And a printable. Let's see what we got. Lime. Nice. Alright, that is super. Very good news. Um, now. They're going to sweep that bit up there for me. I've cleared all this out. Then I can put this lid back on here. Go, stinky. Go, stinky. And if we come back a little bit. I just want to make sure that they are using the closer receptacle. They should just come up here for this. Yeah, go Harold! You know what you're doing. Alright. So these guys are on it. That crude oil can stay there, I don't care. This can all be swept in a moment. There we go. Except that one stays priority eight. Nice. Um, now, I should probably sweep all this up as well. Now, would that happen to be just a bit of petrol getting up here. Excellent. It'll just take a little bit to get started and then it'll go like the clappers. Um, so, now that we've more or less gotten that done, I need to get this running. Um, now, I do have space for two natural gas generators, but we'll leave these ones here for now. Um, that's the output of polluted water, which will just plug straight into there. Um, and these here all need liquid outputs as well. So we're actually going to make it insulated. Yep, that's good by me. Um, like that. Like that. And I think like that. Now that it's all good and proper, We'll take it this way. Alright, that's the way the ethanol's going to come out. Uh, we'll just cancel that for now. And we will have to put in some ladders. So let's deconstruct them real quick. And we'll need ladders. Um, actually, do I need to delete every single one? They can reach one, two... So I should be right to only delete every second one. Minimum effort. <laughs> uh, now, we do need them to clean that up because I want to close it off. And this is just, yep, just dropping its oil on the ground exactly as planned. Guys, this is going so well. Uh-oh. It happened again. That is not being used. This one is, but it won't be for long at all. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to cut that very shortly. Um, which means we will need to get into this bit of hydrogen here to burn it off. Which is fine. Uh, how are we going to do that? This way? We dig this out, this out, we've got our liquid lock. 
base tiles like that. They can slip down there and out. Yes, that's how it works. Actually, what we'll do, cancel those. Um, we really just want that, don't we? Like that, and then we'll come down here. Um, which will mean ventilation pump, I'll say there. And then we can run a gas pipe out this way. Yep. Like that. Nice. Uh, we are just temperature, isn't it? Yeah. That's alright. Alright, so this all needs to be put in, but I do want to make sure that this gets finished first. Okay, that can all be cancelled there. Get them to mop this petrol here up. Uh, this is fine, it can stay I suppose. I just want to remove this so it doesn't create a liquid lock here. Snippy snip. That needs to filter out natural gas, yes. So what's your problem? Ah. That one... One thing. Alright. Uh, don't need to make that one, just this one. Very good. Yikes. Jeepers, mister. Uh, and... Oh. They'll get around to it, I suppose. Soon. I really hope soon. Priority 7. And make that a priority 9 as well. So that they get it done. Please! Alright. Just a bunch of people with nothing to do. I'll take that. We're right on power though. I suppose this is still just pumping enough gas to keep things running. Um, do we need that? I'll just put it there in case. I suppose... actually yes we do. Construction... Well given that the construction and cleaning crews are on different time schedules. Uh, let's get that going and we also need some power. Let's run a transformer off here. And it only needs to be regular wire. Like that. And then we'll run it up that way. Ventilation pipe. Like that. It's still overloaded. Really? Power? Um, yeah, okay, that, that is a small issue. You know what? Let's pop. Um, get that done, and then we'll have a look at how that's still overloading. Um, I mean, that's fair enough. That's never getting used. 
What is actually on this circuit? That's one circuit. This is the other. Is it just all of these that's causing the issue? I know these are a problem down here. But they're not really, like... Let's just snip that there. Let that fill up and see how it goes. Oh! Oh, they're so happy. Alright. See how that goes, whether they can reach that middle one there and there. Um, this is going nicely. That can stop. Crude oil goes in here. Don't know what you're whinging about. Excellent. And we can now put the tile there. Get that done. Sweep that one up. Sweep that one up. Get these done so that they're done and we can stop looking at this stuff. Yep, Bubbles and Stinky are coming. And we now have a permanent steady supply of oil. Yeah, things you love to see. And it's not my bit, so I'm not going to do it. Um, this is coming in nicely. Uh, right, so that gas pump is next to keep these running. Power, um, I might just... Uh, yeah. It's not worth wasting the power over. That can all go. That can stay. That can go. Ventilation. This can all go. Ah, uh, we won't yet. Alright, that'll be the last of the hydrogen. Which is enough to keep us powered for a little while. Hopefully we'll get this in first and then we can start worrying about other things. Goodness me. Golly golly gosh. Huh. Now, I gotta say, I'm not 100% sure about what I want to do. Ari, this nuclear waste? Because, like, you can't do anything with it. Do I just make a pit? I suppose so. <gasps> you. Ooh, actually, I've got an idea. Um. Nuclear. That card is full. I have a bunch of cards that I keep notes on. <laughs> New card time. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed watching that little grub grub run around. Uh, Deconstruct that, please. This is all swept up. Yes. Go, go, go. These are very critical that they get emptied quickly. Et 
except for that one. That can be a five. That needs sweeping vitally. And that one is full, so we can do something like that. Let's see how they're building up here. That's good. That'll start filling up once we start using the petrol pumps again. Now, I don't know how to get into this now that the door has melted. Because that's what happened, right? <laughs> Were these biomes hot? Or, like, hot, hot originally? Not really. You go, little guy. <laughs> Remember back at the start when I was letting out all this polluted oxygen just to oxygenate the base cheaply? Alright, how's this? Uh, wait, has that all gone super well? Yes, it has. So we can now dig that out. And that's a three gap, so we will need a ladder. There and there. Ah, oh, wrong one. And another ladder there. There we go. Yeah, Hassan, you got this. Don't tell me you're stuck. In fact, because that's so important, let's make that an eight. He's building that one, that's fine. That's disconnected, so I don't care. Oh yeah, baby. That's going so well. Alright, plumbing. I need to extend this this way. Should I just, uh, like, cut that there and run it down? Nah, we'll just run it across this way. I do, however, need to deconstruct this. Uh, we are doing some despaghettification. That's the official term. Printables. Alright, this is for mush bars, and this one's for mush fry, and what we're going to do is... Do a snippy snip. Another knock gate. Like that. More nuclear waste, but that's fine. It's not that, like, I care too much about having it on the map in general. I just can't sweep it up easily. That is the nuclear waste problem. Wait, so you're telling me you can build all of that without... Nice. Oh, never mind. They can't reach it. What if I dig that one up? Harold? Come back. Harold? Come back. Is it just because you can't see it? Really? That's still unreachable? Alright. I've been convinced... Bubbles is doing it. I can deal with that. Alright, now we'll leave the hydrogen sorted out. So that's all of the oil... Sorry, I've moved way away from my mic there. That's all of the oil stuff sorted. Which is nice to see. Oh, these guys are just so dang cute. 
Uh, now, something I have to consider is that that is um, petrol in there, and I don't want petrol in there. Uh, plumbing time. We will, of course, have to pump all of this out until it's all gone. So, as a matter of fact, we can say... Just pump until it's gone. Alright. And that is our hydrogen going. Nice. Uh, it is not yet connected. Do something like that, maybe? Hey, now we're cooking. And that's all that coming in here. Now, is that water freezing or brine turning into salt water? Hmm. Interesting. What do you mean there is no st oh, yeah. No, that's fine. And that's going very nicely. Yes! Things are going exactly as planned. Alright. Uh, how am I doing on time? That's 20 minutes plus another 20 minutes from before. Uh, man, I'm just having such a good time. But I am probably running out of time for the episode. Ooh. We did get quite a bit done today. That's really good. Um, so I need to get them all to put all this stuff in. Um, power. And this does need to be extended. Like, I need to connect that to there. Um, and then we can start doing some other stuff. Uh, now that has taken it off. That's nice to see. Yeah, alright. I think that's that all sorted out. Uh, now they can also probably start deconstructing most of this. Um, but they'll have to get up to it when they get there. Uh, and I will also, another thing I'm going to have to do, sorry, to pause again. Um, I'm going to have to replace this liquid in here. Like, so the polluted water should be fine. Um, if we come down here, and someone's going to tell me I'm doing this wrong. But, like, I've got the coolant coming in here, and this specifically says negative two, right? And polluted water... Ah, and it's done it again. Um, that's polluted oxygen. I want polluted water. There's none sitting there. There's some. It freezes at negative 20. Negative 2... Sorry, 2 plus 14 is 16. That's 4 degrees. And the game allows for a bit of a buffer, right? Because, like... Where's some super hot water? Do we have any? There was some sitting around somewhere. And I was like, ugh, that's a bit of a yikes. Heck, even... There's an example. Okay, so like, everyone knows ice, yeah, sure, water, liquid, negative 0.6, and that's sitting there at 0.4. And it's not like it's a teeny weeny little amount. That's, that's like a ton of ice just chilling. Um, so the, the game has like, what is it, a 2 or 3 degree buffer in there. Um, so like it needs to get down to negative 22 or negative 23 or so in order to flash to steam or polluted oxygen in this case like I it, it shouldn't be doing that especially because the sensor's right next to the input like and if it doesn't go in it just bypasses uh, anyway, uh, what can you do about it? Um, I'm gonna have to rehaul that. It's worked super well. Much better than I anticipated. Um, anyway, don't, don't worry about my griping. It's a very small gripe. Um, should I put in here? 
deconstruct. Let's check out our automation. If exactly one of the inputs is green. So, this probably shouldn't be running all the time. Maybe I'll just turn it off for now, wait for there to be a little bit in there. At least a little bit more. And then we can turn it on. Should we? How are we doing on petrol? We have a... <laughs> We've got a lot of petrol. Um... We have a lot of petrol. Alright, you know what? I think we're actually going to be pretty fine. Um, we are doing so good on petrol. Um, now they do need to clean all this up, but that's fine. We're going to deconstruct the... That can go there. swept out. Now what I do also need is a hydro sensor right there. Like that. Don't really need to do that yet. Um, and of course we will need to go and go on a little cheeky mish and collect all these slicksters across the map. So maybe that's what I'll have to do for an episode. It's just going to be a Slickster and Morb Fest. Can you stop doing that? Huh. Well, that can happen. Nice. Well, um, I'm gonna have to call it there because I think I definitely have run out of time. Um, this is going pretty dang well. So once this fills up more, this should also fill up and get above 50, right? What if we say 25? So that way it's actually going to start doing something. Yeah, alright, I'm going to have to call it there. Thank you everyone for hanging out and watching. Let's zoom out and see what the map looks like. It's uh, pretty clean as far as like industry and stuff goes. That's all been pumped out, which is nice. Uh, let's mop all this up, actually, whilst we're doing some tidying. Although not that you can stop the map from getting filthy. Really, that's too much liquid? Well, you can have that opinion. I should probably dig these out as well. That way, this will be less interfered with. Now, do desalinators. And we are actually going to chop that snippy snip up here as well. Yeah. Snippy snip right there. Um. And that's nice and clean. Alright, we can now start deconstructing these. Sorry, I'm trying to end the episode and I'm just doing all sorts of little odd jobs. Get those done so I can close this up. Um, yeah, alright, so I'm going to have to call it there. Thank you very much for hanging out and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!